it has been a few weeks since I got my Hobie yarn and I have been playing hard with my Hobie yarn. Hobie has new yarn and I want to show it to you. I got this in the mail. I was going to wait to open the bag to do it on camera, but it was late at night when I got this. My husband was like, oh yeah, you got this in the mail today. And I was like, what? And you're just now telling me this? <laughs> I was like, what? I was scandalized. But well, anyway, I was super excited. It was late at night and I obviously was not ready to make a video. So I had to just, I had to break into it just a little bit because hello, Hobie Yarn. Let me show you what I got. I'm just gonna dump it all out right here. Oh, I'm always so excited to get Hobie Yarn. All right, well, you know, me and yarn. I am the yarn geek. Let me show you what I got. The first thing I pulled out of the bag was the Honey Bunny Shine. Isn't that so cute? Look at that little bunny on the package. And is this honey bunny shine just in time for Easter? I think so. Look at that yarn. Look at that yarn. It is so soft and squishy. And look at those little flecks of sparkle in it. Let me tell you what it is. This is a six bulky weight. And look at it. It looks, it's so soft. It looks a little smaller than a regular six but it's definitely bigger than a five. So I was like, what am I gonna make with this? I have no idea. But then when I was picking out which colors I wanted of this yarn, I picked out a little bag pattern and it is a free pattern on the website. I'm gonna make this little bag. I might even make it tonight. I should probably give it to my granddaughter, Abby, because Emmy has been getting a lot of stuff when we've been going yarn shopping. I got two of each of these colors to make that little bag with. And let me show you it all together. Look how big and soft and squishy. Seriously, I have never completed anything with this kind of yarn before. I've played with it, but I've never completed anything. So there's always a first time for everything. Cute little bag, here I come. The next yarn I got, oh, this is so soft. This is Pearly Haze. And this yarn, is so soft. When you look at the picture, it doesn't tell you how soft it is. The picture does it. You can't see how soft it is. The first thing I see is shiny. I don't see soft. But when I hold it, it is so soft. And I've got five of these. I got five of these. Look at these beautiful yarns. And this one has... Oh, did you guys see the picture? It's the picture. The picture is a pearl for the pearly haze. I also looked up a pattern on the Hobie website to make this with, and there it is. I'm gonna make a top. The Honey Bunny Shine is made in Turkey. The pearly haze is made in Italy. And the pearly haze is 73% viscose, 27% wool. It is a four weight recommended needle size five millimeter recommended hook size six millimeter i got this particular green because i want it i want it to bring out my eyes when i wear this top what do you think is it bringing out the eyes i think i am most excited with this next yarn do you guys know about hobie bingo hobie bingo every monday just download the hobie app and play bingo with us every Monday. It's so much fun. It's live, it's a live game. And of course, it's a different time depending what time zone you're in. Check this out, you guys. They sent me Hobie bingo yarn. What? Oh my gosh, how much fun is this? I'm pretty much in love with this yarn. I thought it was going to be like the Hobie acrylic Christmas yarn, which looks like this. I still have some left. See how that's, how it looks? This is 100% acrylic. This is 100% acrylic, and it looks like this. Do you see how it's a little bit fuzzy? It's got kind of a wooly feel, but it's acrylic. And it's smooth, and it's soft. I can already tell I'm going to love working with it, and I'll show you what colors I got. I got, I got my favorite colors, because this is something that I didn't pick out a pattern for. I'm gonna make my own thing up. I got yellow. This is 100% acrylic. It is a two weight yarn and there are 306 yards. Oh, I didn't tell you the yardage of the others. Oops. The pearly haze yarn has 120 yards and it is a four weight. 
this has a lot for a six weight. It has 131 yards. Oh, it's pretty big. See right up next to my head? You can see the sizes of the two different yarns. And this is a pretty decent size too. This, 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 and this. I love these colors together. And I am going to make something very bright and very fun. I was thinking it was a three weight, but it's a two weight. It feels like a big two weight or a small three weight. These are the five colors I got and I cannot wait to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm gonna make a bingo blanket. I've got an idea for it. I'll show you guys later as soon as I make some Ooh, of it. A beach blanket, like beach blanket bingo. This is bingo also, but it is bingo XL. Bingo XL is a four weight. And I wanted to get of a neutral color just so I could try it out. And I didn't know what I was gonna make, so I thought, ooh, maybe like a hat or something, but it is a four weight and it is a, it is a very solid four weight. I love the feel of this. It also has that shiny feel, but also a little bit of a shiny wooly feel, just like this one. I need to try all these out and show them all to you. <laughs> Bingo yards. This one is 218 yards. I am so looking forward to working with this yarn. Cannot wait to work As with it. As you guys know, this is a new yarn launch and it is so exciting because these yarns are awesome. Let me show you what I've been doing with them. Okay, so you guys saw me opening the yarn. Now let me show you what I've done with it. I have done a few things. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what I have done with my Hobie Bingo yarn. Now you remember before it was wrapped up all nice and neat in its label? Well, I started making the corner to corner blanket and this is going to be diagonal stripes and it is my, whoops, the purple color, the yellow, the orange, and then the red, the burgundy, and the purple. Sunset, it's gonna be a sunset rainbow type situation. Now, which one of these yarns is not like the other? It is this one. Oh, this one is the Hobie XL. And I have used it. Oops, this, this end needs to be woven in. I have made something to hold my Hobie yarns on. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever learned this trick before, but apparently I'm gonna use my Honey Bunny Shine for an example here. Let me show you what I learned. So you take the label off and you go like this. Ooh, let me smush it like I'm making a ball of yarn. Oh my, this is so soft and it smells so clean and good. I'm playing with my Hobie Dobie. I am playing with my Hobie Honey Bunny yarn here. This right here is the outside strand. I'm just gonna take it and stick it right there. And I'm gonna go like this. And apparently you can, you can like, it's supposed to make it easier. It's supposed to make it easier to get the middle out if you don't have any middle pull. So I'm gonna try this and see how it works. Oh, uh, what have I done here? Okay, we'll do this. I was able to pull the mid, <laughs> I was able to pull the middle out without much difficulty. There was a little difficulty and a little more came out than should have, but that's okay because, because it's still soft and <laughs> squished. But anyway, this is to illustrate a point. And this worked very, very nicely with the Hobie Bingo skeins. So I pulled it out. I pulled the center out. And then, you know, this goes into a donut. And then this goes, this goes into a donut. So it's okay that I pulled this out because I'm going to be showing you something in a second. And for the purpose of my project, I put all of my donuts of yarn that were skeins onto, I'm gonna call this my project cord. What do you think? What's a good name for this? Anyway, what do you think? Huh? Winner? What do you think? Anyway, I don't wanna take away from the fact that this yarn is amazing. Well, let me tell you a little bit about each yarn. I already kind of went over it briefly when I unboxed it, but, let me tell you more about it since I've been using it. Mm -hmm. So the first one I showed you that I'm working on is my corner to corner blanket bun. And then I am working on, I was going to make a bag, 
but then I decided this looks too cute to not make. I got this Honey Bunny Shine, and I'm making this little cardigan. Look at this. And yes, I did get this free pattern off of the Hobie website. I have almost got it finished, but I do want to show you how this yarn looks when you're working with it. Because it is so soft, you guys. And one more thing. I am making a shirt out of the pearl. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look, it could also be a beautiful headband. But you know what? I am using another one. Whoops. I'm using another one of Hobie's patterns, except I'm kind of modifying a little bit because I wanted to make a top that had a different weight of yarn. But I'm using this with it. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do, but I'll show you the pattern anyway. I'm now I'm going to turn this around and show you what each of these yarns look like when you're working with it. The Honey Bunny Shine is a velour yarn and see it has those little teeny tiny sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see it because it's so subtle, but you guys, it's so pretty and it's so soft and I cannot feel that sparkle in it at all. This yarn is super fun to crochet or knit with and it comes in like a ton of colors. Oh, I will put a screenshot up here in just a second of all the colors they have. So wonderful. This is perfect in making amigurumi plushies or clothes for kids because it's so soft and uh, little the little ones will love to squish it and it would also be great for home decor things like pillows and blankets and all that stuff but let me show you real quick I've got this hexagon finished I ran out of yarn on this one I want to finish this hexagon I am using a six millimeter crochet hook and can you see the glitter in there I hope you guys can see the glitter because it is I want to say cute but is glitter cute can glitter be a cute thing I've got one more round to work on with this hexagon Hobie does have the honey bunny yarn already and this shine and this new honey bunny shine is amazing i'm just kind of crocheting and not saying anything because this yarn is wonderful and if i have enough yarn left which i think i will after i finish this cardigan i am going to make that bag <laughs> that i told you guys that i was going to make in the first place so keep your fingers crossed that i have enough left of the yarn so i have that much to go and I'll be finished with the two hexagons, or the two hexagons, and I'll be ready to piece them together. There's that part, and that part, and then I'll just seam up the back and do what I need to do on the sleeves and the bottom, and it will be done. Oh, it's so soft and squishy. I just love it so much. This is the Pearly Haze, and I am working on a summer top with this. Let me show you what I've got so far. I'm not super far along in the project, but that's okay. I love working with this yarn. Let me show you what it looks like while I'm telling you a little about the yarn. Pearly Haze is an Italian yarn. It is 73% viscose, 27% merino wool. Not just any merino wool. It is extra fine merino wool. <laughs> There's a special technique they use to make it and I'm not quite sure what that all involves and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right it's called Sophily maybe it's Sophily it has an elegant shine and softness and lightness from the viscose and warmth and delicacy from the merino wool and treated for softness resistance to pilling and brighter colors the color palette is subdued but vibrant due to the viscose's shiny effect pearly haze is easy to work with and suitable for beginners and experts alike. And look how that just flows along. Right now I am crocheting triple crochet. I hope you can see how nice it is to work with. This top is going to have a super nice drape. Construction of this, I'll put a picture 
of this up on the video. Starts out wider, goes narrower towards the top. I'll definitely need to wear something underneath it, but that is okay. Even if it's a sports bra, that's okay too. This will definitely be perfect for summertime. This bingo yarn is awesome. It is definitely my favorite two weight acrylic yarn. And I am amazed at how much I love to work with this. I am making a corner to corner blanket. When I first saw this yarn, I thought it would be very comparable to the Christmas yarn that was that Hobie had in the packages, which was 100% acrylic too, but it's softer and it just slides on my hook like a dream. It is 100% acrylic. You can wash it in 40 degrees Celsius water. Oh, it's very easy to care for. It's the colors are very fun. There are 27 or 28 different colors. The colors are all bright and fun, just like the bingo game is. I'll post a picture that has all of the different colors of the Hobie Bingo, the regular kind, and then also the Hobie Bingo XL. The Hobie Bingo XL is a four weight and it is just as wonderful as the two weight. I could seriously sit and crochet on this forever. It's one of those yarns where you just want to keep going because you want to see what happens next. And it doesn't change colors, but it just looks so good. The only thing that I would change about, about the Hobie Bingos is maybe make a few of them not so bright or even better yet, like if they added more colors. That's it. Leave the bright ones in there and just add more colors. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I made. <laughs> you may think this is funny or silly, but listen, I took, let me move that off. I took the skeins, the Hobie Bingo yarn, and these are all of the regular ones. This is the XL. And I made a rope type thing that out of the Hobie Bingo XL that I could slide my yarn onto and it would keep them all together for my project. It's something new that I tried. I was just having fun. I thought, you know what? This is a fun Hobie Bingo yarn. I'm going to have fun with it. So that's what I've done. And uh, tell me what you think. I love it. Well, those are the things that I have been working on with my new yarn. Honey Bunny Shine. I'm making a hexy cardigan for my granddaughter. Look how soft and squishy and pretty that is. And I hope that you guys can see the sparkle. This is the Pearly Haze. And I'm going to hold that up as close as I can so you guys can see it. Look at that stitch definition. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look, it can also be a headband. And last but not least, I've got my corner to corner blanket that I'm working on. I haven't added all the colors in yet, but you guys will be the first to see progress pick. What do you think? What would you guys make with these yarns? The possibilities are really endless, like clothing, sweater, sweaters are clothing, <laughs> everything mosaic blanket. Tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know what you would make or if you've made anything with them yet, even better. Let me know where I can find a picture that you've posted of them and I will go there and take a look because that's what I love to do. I love yarn. I love Hobie yarn because I'm the yarn geek <laughs> and yarn is my life. Hey guys, if you are looking forward to trying out these new yarns, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a second of Yarny Fun or any of the new Hobie yarns. Have a wonderful night. Oh, and also don't forget to share with somebody who you think would love to get some of this Hobie yarn. And don't forget, I will post links for these beautiful yarns down in the description. You guys have a wonderful night. Love you. Bye. Thank you.